Good morning, everybody. It's John from Veganism Kills. It's 7.10 a.m. August 6th. I'm sorry, it's 5.42 a.m. Wait a minute. It is 7.10 a.m. Um, I was just looking at Vegan Deterioration's video. You just look at the... Rebutting this guy, what he has to say about gout. Now, one of you vegans, Ryan Hastings, right, goes back to their buddy vegan. Excellent point. They blame their 20% meat intake for their health conditions. Okay? And he goes, look, this is a vegan Mediterranean diet study. The vegan, you know, you, know, you guys, it just, just the smells of vegans just trying to organize themselves to defend their fucking belief. That's what it smells like. One day I replied, Meanwhile, vegan parents are going to jail for murder, used in its correct legal definition, for 100% plant-based diet causing starvation. Yet children on a normal diet have no complications to their health from their diet. Go figure. It's just a reality rearing its ugly head. Well, that was to this lady. Then Ryan puts up this study because, you know, he's a big scientist. He's a vegan scientist with a degree from Hogwarts. Ryan, you're a lawyer. This work was funded by the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. All those so-called doctors were listed on quackwatch.org, including Neil Bernard. What, what the hell is wrong with you vegans? People are telling you of a higher level than Neil Bernard that these guys are quacks. And yet you guys are posting studies that were funded by quacks. Now... Unlike vegans, I'm not just going to post the study without reading it. Now here's the study. You follow the link. You see it? It's the same link that Ryan has. You go down here. Well, let's see the source of this esteemed institute that made this study. That's the first thing you should check before you waste a, a minute of your valuable time. And I'm not wasting them on quacks. This work was funded by the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. Neil Bernard, you know, the one who has a net worth of $20 million by taking advantage of gullible people. That will believe anything if you just put a few graphs on the screen. All authors except ATRH work for the Physician Committee of Responsible Medicine in Washington, D.C. I like how they use their office in Washington, D.C. to give their parents of some kind of government uh, authority. I like that little trick that they use. So, you know what this study is? You can wipe your ass with it. Here goes Quack Watch. Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, National Council Against Health Fraud Archives. This is Quack Watch. This is written by William T. Jarvis, not an anti-vegan, an actual PhD. And he's telling you it's all bullshit, the whole physicians committee. They're lawyers. Case rested. Stop posting up studies that are funded by vegan quacks. You'll lose all the time. Stop spreading misinformation that has been killing children since 1970 fucking two. Your time is almost up. Then send your vegan strongmen to come after me. And then I'll be calling you to come scrape them off the sidewalk. And on that, I'm out of here.